Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. One of the things I thought I'd take a look at today is the use of a visual reference point, a visual IP, and then utilizing the pop-up functionality for both of those. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is input our target position for visual reference point usage. Now we're going to use visual reference points for potentially marking blue forces and if you've ever received a nine line uh, it will tell you friendlies southwest 2000 meters etc etc so this symbology is a good way of marking those so we'll input the target steer point we'll call it five and we want north two three zero six six one four and east zero oh, zero five four 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 three two a target height roughly 350 and it's always a good idea rocker away rocker back and you're gonna have uh, that steer point now nicely woken up and kicked into life all right so how we use visual reference points then air to ground master mode we need to be c c r p see that's how you set these things up and then we will go list nine to bring up the visual reference point menu and m cell zero on the icp that video invert says right you're now utilizing this functionality so we are referencing steer point five and my blue forces are approximately three four seven degrees and they are at six thousand feet so that should be us all set up ccrp mode We should now have a steer to the target and be looking for that uh, diamond box that is our uh, visual reference point. Okay, so we're going to descend down through the clouds, and you can see the second HUD symbol saying, I'm still off to the left. And there you go, descend down. So, what we've got here is steering to our target position and then the diamond is our visual reference point so we'll descend down through these lovely 2.7 clouds and we'll take a look uh, as we get a bit closer at what actually we can see using these two functions Speed is up a little bit. Okay. So if I zoom in, I'm just going to pause rather than hit the ground. And what you can see is you've got your standard target uh, designation box over our target, but you've got a, a visual reference point diamond roughly over that group of blue forces there so i know there's my target and then my blue forces there are denoted by the diamond box so if we come back off pause and we'll go in altitude altitude we'll get a bit closer to our blue forces just so we can see them Now if I zoom back in, there you can see a group, that is a group of Humbies, believe me. So we'll center up on our target, we'll do a CCIP drop just because we can. Okay, 10 seconds to drop. Holding the wet and release button. And release. Chaff flares. There's a sem, 60 degrees of turn, 
over 5G. Okay, rolling out, we're reducing the G. Yeah, we're a touch long on that one, the computer's a, a little out. But that's how we're going to use visual reference points. A really handy, useful thing to know uh, or to mark uh, where blue forces are. Uh, which means you're not going to overfly them. It's going to help you with a blue on blue. Or rather avoiding a blue on blue. Uh, you know not to come in on that direction. Just in case your bombs fall short. Alright. Alright. So the next thing we'll look at then is utilising the target to pull up functionality uh, when we want to do low level insertion and a pop uh, delivery. So again utilising steer point 5, I'm going to go up, M cell and instantly you can see there's now a circle on our HUD to say you're using this symbology. So I want to pop uh, from that position. I'm just going to bring the aircraft back left. I want to be uh, up to the northeast. So we will say 300 zero, zero degrees at 4 miles, so 12,000 feet. And we should now get that circle symbology that says this is your pop-up point. To deliver your weapons. So I'm going to come back around to the target. <clears throat> Descend a bit lower. Okay, so there's a great example. So I'm just going to press pause there. So we've still got our visual reference point diamond, our target TD box, and our pull-up point for a low-level delivery. So the way I personally use this is to go on my pull-up, come over my pull-up point on my required heading, um, and I tend to use the BMS um, weapons data planner or delivery planner for this. Uh, very, very useful bit of software. Uh, I know we're playing DCS, but the uh, weapon data uh, delivery plan is very, very good. And that will tell you uh, offset headings, distances, etc, etc. So I'm just going to come direct from my point there. Running through. And then because I personally like to do pop-ups in a CCIP, I'm going to run through the pop-up point and during my pop manoeuvre I'm going to click it uh, into CCIP. I may end up being a little close so I'm going to offset another 10 degrees. So there's my point, I'm going to come right, climb, click into CCIP, there's 40 degrees, there's my target and I'm just going to pull down there just as an example retard the throttles yeah a bit close not the best pop there's my safe escape maneuver well delivery still wasn't too bad even though it wasn't the best maneuver um, but yeah the weapon data planner will give you the exact uh, or uh, very accurate uh, offsets and ranges from your target such that you can use uh, that very handy pop-up symbology.
Altitude. 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 Cat Blair. 